from the Tour Nation Production Studios, located in the Media Arts Learning Community at Ball High School in Galveston, Texas. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for the Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. From the Studio of Dreams at Tour Nation Productions. Reporting from the Studio of Dreams located at Ball High School in Galveston, Texas, welcome to the award-winning Good Morning Ball High. I'm Ethan Keller, and to get things started, as always, stay tuned to today's Time Rewind, courtesy of our good friend, David Mendel. Our country is leading the world. It's Time Rewind for March 4th. The year is 1925. The voice is that of Calvin Coolidge, the 30th President of the United States, delivering the first inaugural address ever broadcast on radio. The last thing I want to be remembered as is an annoying blabbermouth. Actor-comedian John Candy in a scene from Planes, Trains, and Automobiles with Steve Martin. Candy dies of a heart attack on this day in 1994 while filming a movie in Mexico. He's just 43 and had more than 40 films to his credit. In 1966, John Lennon tells a British newspaper that the Beatles are more popular than Jesus. The comment triggers outrage, with some radio stations refusing to play Beatles records, and other stations burning them. History shows the Fab Four are none the worse for the wear. The Rolling Stones are on top of the U.S. singles chart in 1967. That's Time Rewind. I'm David Mendel. prom this year is May 4th. Join me and the rest of GISD in supporting our students by sponsoring a table. Contact Emily Dabney for more details. Ball High has started its own mariachi group. If you play the violin, trumpet, or guitar, then this is the group for you. For further information, see Ms. Olivetes. The Galveston Noon Optimist Club is again conducting its annual youth oratorical contest. This year's contest will be held on March 23rd at Texas A&M University on Pelican Island. This topic is how to change the world with optimism. First place winner will receive $250, second will receive $150, and third will receive $100. For further information, see Mr. Merritt. Now let's check this morning's headlines from newspapers across America. Here's today's official Good Morning Ball High picture of the day. If you have an interesting photo that you would like to be considered as a future picture of the day, send it to Mr. Dudas. We'll be happy to feature it. And for even more photos, check out the Ball High Photography photo album. Go to Google and search Ball High Photography. Let's check in and see what's going on in sports. Let's check the latest weather forecast. If you would like to join the K-Tour, the Tornado team, drop us a line. We'd love to hear from you. Set furnishing for Good Morning Ball High provided by Star Fine Furniture. For additional content, stay tuned to part 2 of Good Morning Ball High immediately following today's program. Be sure and catch KTOR's 5 streaming music stations broadcasting on Live365.com. Use search word KTOR. And don't forget that Time Rewind can also be found on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Check it out for more pop culture and trivia. Be sure and stay tuned for the second half of Good Morning Ball High coming up next. I'm Ethan, wishing you 
a terrific day. Morning Ball High is produced by the students in the Media Arts Small Learning Community at Ball High School in Galveston, Texas. <laughs> Here's the word of the day. Today's word is apex. It means pinnacle or high point. I remember apex by thinking of apex. It starts with the letter A, and I picture a huge capital letter A that's like a mountain. So there's this mountainous capital letter A, and I'm climbing it, I'm going up and up, and I'm trying to reach the peak, and it's so hard. Finally, I get there. I'm at the apex of that letter A. You could also think of a CEO, when she made it to that position, she reached the apex of her career. Apex, it means pinnacle or high point. Here's this day in history. March 4, 1933. In Washington, Franklin D. Roosevelt is sworn in as president. He pledges to lead America out of the Great Depression in his inaugural address. So first of all, let me assert my firm belief that the only thing we have to fear is fear itself. 1987, also in Washington, President Ronald Reagan takes responsibility for the Iran-Contra affair. He acknowledges his administration's overtures to Tehran deteriorated into an arms for hostages deal. A few months ago, I told the American people I did not trade arms for hostages. My heart and my best intentions still tell me that's true, but the facts and the evidence tell me it is not. And 1902, birth of the AAA, as the American Automobile Association is founded in Chicago. Today in History, March 4th, David Melendi, The Associated Press. Tell me, Caleb, what is the A-Team? Well, Dr. Neighbors, if you have to ask, then you're not a part of it. <laughs>